Marcus, you feel like a day like this was a long time coming for you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. these last couple weeks have been tough. Uh, just felt like I kind of hit a wall. And, you know, I just locked in. I kept grinding it out, trusting my routine, and I'm thankful it paid off today. What was it that made it pay off today? Because, you know, Ryan has always talked about being confident in you. What, five targets, five receptions, 100 yards. Good. What click for you? Man, I think it's just consistency. I think a lot of times that's what we're capable of as players, and you don't get to show it every week. But uh, believing in yourself, having teammates who, who got your back, coaches who got your back, and having an opportunity like I did today and just taking advantage of it. Did you feel like going in that with AJ probably attracting so much attention that there were going to be some one-on-one opportunities that you had to win? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew they were going to play a lot of man. Uh, we knew AJ was going to get doubled. And uh, like our coach said, like Coach Moore told us, it, it starts in his room, building momentum and making big plays. So we knew. Did they basically show you what you thought you used to see today in terms of coverage and Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And I think, to an extent, more man than usual that's been on the film, but we expected that, Julio being out, so. Saying that um, the team needed to see that from you, and he said maybe Marcus needed to see that from himself today also. Yep. Is that is he on track with, uh, with saying that? Is that like a, you know, a confidence gain, that, that kind of performance today for you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. God's timing is perfect, you know what I mean? I, I needed it, the coaches needed to see it, of course, my teammates. And uh, I'm just thankful to be able to contribute and help help us win. I'm sorry if you've done it already. Can you talk us through the long one? Oh, the long one. Uh, man, it was just a, a quick slant, like a now route. And uh, I think what, what really helped open me up was the burst off the line. I just committed to uh, full speed, and, and Ryan saw me. As soon as I caught it, it was immediate separation, and I was able to uh, take it out. I, I should have took it to the house. It was two opportunities taken to the house, so I got to find a way to get in the end zone, but uh, yeah, that was a big play. With, with no Julio and, and of course, you know, AJ, as you said, being double covered a lot, is this something that you kind of increasingly see, you think, as, as the weeks go on? Is there more opportunities for you to step up like you did today? I believe so. I think, you know, the, the more teams want to play man and challenge us at the line, and uh, the more they, they, they make us as, as a whole receiver group step up. I think it'll be big for me, Nick Westbrook, uh, once we get Racy back everybody to, to step up and uh, support AJ as well when he's getting double teamed, so. Yeah, man coverage like that, especially no safety over time, is that something you take personally? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what we get paid to do, you know what I mean? And that's what we're gonna continue to do. Hey, Marcus, just how does it feel to be such a big contributor and a win? It feels great, you know what I mean? It, uh, like Vrabel said, it's a confidence booster. Uh, I obviously believe in myself, but sometimes you need to show it. You need to show it for your, uh, prove yourself right, and as well any anybody else who, who needs to see that. So I think it was, it was big for me, and I'm and I'm thankful to be able to contribute like that. What is it about this team that so many guys, we've seen all the injuries and all, but so many guys get an opportunity and they wind up succeeding uh, when given that opportunity? I noticed early when I first got here, and even a little bit before I came, um, you know, the, the this organization loves their guys. So even if, you know, once training camp's over and guys go somewhere else or aren't able to stay on the roster, they come back. And I think it's just the trust. They, they know what we can bring to the table. You know you can't keep everybody. And uh, I believe we have good depth. And we saw that in training camp. We're seeing it throughout the season. And uh, we're battle tested. You know what I mean? These games have been close over time, fighting it out. And that's what we'll need down the stretch. And that's especially what we'll need come playoffs. So just take it one day at a time. and. Continue battling. What's, what's the culture, I guess, like in, in the room, Marcus, as far as guys supporting one another? And what, what do maybe guys say to you after a game like this where you stepped up and played? It's well? huge. I, I mean, everybody was coming up to me saying uh, just congrats and good game. And obviously, I'm saying the same thing to them. And I've been saying that, saying whether I'm doing well or not. Uh, so it, it felt good to have my teammates just congratulate me. You've been in locker rooms in the past where it just seemed like you look at 17, right? The ball always bounced in your way. You always pulled out these close games. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening now. That can't be luck. So in your opinion, like, what do you think is behind that consistently coming through that way? It's grit. You know what I mean? We don't panic. And we, we trust the game plan. We trust uh, what we see on film. And we just keep chipping away. You know what I mean? And we don't get too high or low. We stay centered. Vrabel was talking about a, a Vanderbilt meeting he went to and one of the coaches was telling the guys staying centered is the key to success and being able to have longevity and I think that's what we're showing as a team. Ryan was saying that kind of despite the, the win the, the offense probably needed to clean some things up. What do you think you, you guys feel the need or need 
to do better, you know, going forward here? Uh, we got to watch the film, you know what I mean? That, that, I can't really speak on it right now, but we'll watch the film and figure it out.